5.55. I am back home after being in Mexico, which I posted in the Mexico vlog. And then after Mexico, I literally went to Montreal for just the weekend. But it literally feels like I've been traveling for like two and a half weeks because it's just been so go, go, go coming home for literally 24 hours and then basically repacking and going to the next spot. It was a lot, but it was fun. Like I don't regret it. And yeah, Zach and I went to Montreal to celebrate our anniversary, which was really fun. So yeah, no, all is good. But now we're here. It is the week of getting back into routine. It is Thursday today. So I've had a few days of just kind of like catching up on work, just catching up on a lot of stuff. I've already done like my groceries for the week. This is my second workout class of the week. I ended up doing a workout at home yesterday, but I thought I would take you guys along because we're still trying to get back into routine, waking up early, all that. Spinco decided to change their schedule, which is fine, but it just means I have to wake up like 30 minutes earlier than I usually do. So usually for a Spinco class, I'd wake up around this time, which is 5.57, because the class doesn't start till seven usually, but they changed it to 6.30. Anyways, we're gonna go to this class. Just put my little workout set on. I'm wearing all Crop Shop Boutique, my favorite workout brand ever. And then this sweater is from Elwood. They just launched it and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cozy. And the size I'm wearing is a medium, I believe. I also just washed my hair and I'm going to a spinco class. That was not the best decision yesterday to do. But let's just hope my hair doesn't get too greasy. Actually, I'm gonna braid it. That way, the, I feel like when I braid my hair, it doesn't get as sweaty because I don't know, it just doesn't hit my back as much. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go. I was really hoping that I wasn't going to sweat, but I did. Who am I kidding? It's a Spinco class. I'm obviously gonna sweat a shit ton, but hopefully the braid somewhat helped. I don't think I'll have to wash like the top of my head. I think I'll be fine, but it's just annoying that I just washed my hair yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking. Spent like literally an hour and a half blow drying my hair, but anyways gonna make some breakfast now we have a few things that we have to get done today it's a work day obviously as well so I have to finish editing my Mexico vlog which you guys will see before this video and I also have a nail appointment today which I'll be filming for TikTok and for here obviously as well I just got them done literally in the last vlog but I think the sun I don't know caused my nails are already peel. Like it's been two weeks and two and a half weeks and they're already peeling, like the paint's chipping off. It just doesn't look good. It literally looks awful to be honest. So I'm like, I need to just get them redone because it's just such an eyesore to look at them right now. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm super excited because I have kind of like my first influencer event in Ottawa. Um, Aloe Yoga is opening up their store at the Rideau Center and they invited me plus a plus one so i'm gonna bring zach to their like vip store opening prior to the store actually opening so we'll get like access to like shopping prior to customers and i think they're having like a dj there they have beverages they have some stuff going on so yeah i'm excited just because like ottawa never really has stuff like that so it's kind of fun to be able to go to an event tonight so yeah we'll have to get ready for that at some point and yeah that's kind of like my day so yeah anyways let's make some breakfast because i'm so hungry and i'll show you guys my recent obsession i've been obsessed with yogurt bowls lately and it's just been like my go-to thing so i'll show you guys everything that i put in it actually i think i did a vlog on this i feel like i'm totally being deja vu right now, but it's just been my favorite breakfast.
Okay, makeup is done, and then I just put this little outfit on. I'm wearing these white Bella girlfriend denim jeans. Also, excuse my PR mess from last week. And then this sweater is N.A. Bing. N.A. Bing? It's not Annie Bing. It's N.A. Bing. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right, but anyways, you can get it off Revolve. And that is my outfit for the day today. I'm probably going to change before the event tonight, but it's good just to go get my nails done because it's nice out. It's like, I want to say like 12 degrees outside right now, which is so nice, which this weather is not typical for the beginning of March for here, specifically in Ottawa. So I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all. I'm loving it, to be honest. I also just got off a FaceTime call with Trent. We were talking for like the past hour, just catching up and yeah, just we're seeing each other soon. So we are just talking about our travel plans for that. So yeah, I'm excited, but let's get our nails done. I'm very excited. I think I'm going to do a pink for spring because I haven't done like a nice bubblegum pink nail in so long and I don't want to do French. I want to change it up because I feel like I've done French a lot lately. So yeah, we're going to do a nice pink. Okay, I just got home from my nail appointment. I got a few clips while I was in the salon just with my phone. But I am like forever a pink nail girly. Like these nails, are you freaking kidding me? Like the perfect bubblegum pink. I'm gonna show you guys close up, but like, wow. She actually, this is actually the best I think my nails have ever looked. I'm not even over exaggerating. Like this is amazing. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that pink, the almond shape, just everything she did is perfection. Like, wow, I love my girl. I go to Exquisite Nails in Canada and I go see Amy. If you tell her that I sent you, she will do you an amazing job. She is such an angel. I've been going to her for like four years. I don't even have to ask her anything. She just knows exactly what I want every single time. And you can even say I want my nails to look like Kaylee if you want to do the exact same shape. She does like um, an almond narrow nail shape. And then I usually just do neutral colors. This one, I think the color she said was, it was a number. I think it was 572. Yeah, I think it was 572. And I was just like, oh, I'm in love. Also, fun fact about me, I am a huge snacker. So it's 342 and I was just craving something to eat. These pretzels, guys, are so freaking good. It's a Canadian brand, I believe. And this is the Fire Roasted Jalapeno. I also love their Cheddar Ranch and Dill Pickle. It's just like a good little snack to have when you're craving something. And I love a good pretzel and these have just been my favorite thing you can get them at any grocery store i believe i get these at the um superstore the canadian superstore so if you have that nearby you that's where i get these but i've also seen these at the gas station this is actually i discovered them was i saw them at a gas station um kiosk when zach and i were going on a road trip for some reason i forget why <laughs> but anyways i came across these and i've been addicted to them ever since and now i buy them literally every week just because they're a good little snack to have. Okay, I'm currently, oh, <laughs> thank you, Freddie. You're blocking the camera, bubs. Okay, you're blocking the camera. I got this package from Zara a few days ago, and I ordered this stuff from Montreal, but it didn't come in on time. So now I'm like, do I return it? Because I really don't think I need any of this, but I am am curious to try it on because I don't want to regret buying this stuff and then realize wait it's actually cute shit so now we just need to see if it's worth keeping okay the first item is definitely a return because it is way too big on me i ordered a size medium large thinking that it was small and i wanted it to be oversized but i think it was already oversized and now it just looks sloppy like this looks like absolute crap so I will be returning this. Okay, this dress is actually a sleigh and I'm gonna keep it because it's my sister's birthday next weekend and we're going out for dinner. So I figured I could wear that there with these black boots. I just put them on because I was like, I need to get the whole feel of the outfit. Does anyone else do that? Where when they need to be sure about something, they have to wear heels or 
you know, something with the outfit to make it like a sold deal on not returning something. So I think it's cute. I kind of like the pattern. It's not a leopard, but it almost looks like some type of animal print. I don't know, but I like it. I think it's very unique, very different with black high boots, maybe a black leather trench coat. It's perfect for like a birthday party or just for going out. Okay, I'm all changed for the aloe event. I just kept my white jeans on and just threw on this. Um, actually, it's an aloe tank. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to wear this. And then I'm going to wear this leather trench coat from Dynamite. I got this last year. I saw this exact one on Zara. Well, very similar at least. So if you want like a leather trench for spring, I wear this a ton during the spring season because it's not too light it's not too heavy the leather just kind of makes the outfit look a bit more put together versus just like a tank and jeans and then i decided to wear this burgundy baseball cap because i'm going to wear my burgundy adidas just so i don't know the colors tie in and then i'll use this little bottega bag that's the fit these are the shoes i'm talking about by the way with the burgundy stripes they're a collab with sporty and rich they did a collab with Adidas and I'm obsessed with them. They're the, just the normal Sambas, but they just have a burgundy and white shade. Okay, I just got to the mall. I think I'm gonna hit up a few stores first because Zach is not here yet. He's meeting me from work. So I think we're gonna hit up the stores that I usually don't get a chance to shop at because I never come to this mall because it's so far from my place. So then I'm gonna go to a few stores that I can't go to, like Anthropology. Um, yeah, just like random stores that I don't have close by. So we're gonna do that. Okay, we just got back from Aloe, and Zach got a new sweater, and he's obsessed with it. It's like this acid gray wash. I didn't even pick this out for him. He picked it out himself. I was like, wait, I actually really like this. I love Aloe with the um, simple the patch. patch. Like that is just, yeah. It's nice for like, I don't even know. Just anything really. I mean, not for like going out for dinner, but like it's a nice casual shirt to wear anything yeah i like it looks good hun i also got some goodies that i'm going to unbox in a bit but i'm making dinner right now because i'm so freaking hungry it's 7 47 and we're cooking dinner right now and i'm so excited good morning you guys it is a few days later it is monday I slacked on the vlogging for the past few days because it was so busy that I just didn't feel the need to whip out the vlog camera. But basically on Friday, so it was Thursday, everything that I filmed, being at the aloe event, all that, was gonna give you guys an aloe haul and then I fell asleep. Woke up Friday morning at 6.30 to head to Montreal to go dress shopping for my mom because she's obviously needing a dress for the wedding. So we were trying on dresses there didn't bring my vlog camera and then didn't get home till like five quickly got ready to go to a 30th birthday party it was our guy friend jesse's 30th and then saturday and sunday were just like clean up the house like just completely yeah complete chaos complete busyness it was my gr grandmother's birthday anyways you get the gist it was just a busy weekend so i am here vlogging on a monday it is beautiful outside it is sunny it feels like spring i'm so excited to be entering spring we are literally days away from it and our weather has been so nice so i'm not complaining but i just made a coffee we are about to go to a spinco class at noon i'm so excited because Alyssa hasn't been spinning during her pregnancy and she just got cleared to do workouts 
today. So she texts me, she's like, I just booked the noon class, like you better be coming. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna come. So I'm going with her. So I'm excited for her to be back into the Spinco classes because I started doing Spinco with her and then she got pregnant and she could not work out during her entire pregnancy because she's had multiple concussions. Like I'm talking like 10 concussions. So she like any type of like physical activity when it came to over exercising during her pregnancy, she like black out which is obviously not good. So the doctor was like, yeah, you cannot be doing high intensity workouts. So she was doing like, um, I wanna say like pregnancy Pilates, but that's essentially what it was, like very like low impact, um, not intense workouts during her pregnancy. So um, yeah, so I'm just excited to get back into Spinco with her. So I'm excited about that. We have to go to the grocery store. It's kind of like a Monday reset. So I thought I would just tie it into this vlog because you know, I feel like the last video was more about my morning routine, just doing an early morning at Spinco and having an influencer event, all that. But today's more so of like getting my shit in gear for the week, doing my groceries, doing my fridge restock organization, all that. Cause I feel like I haven't really shown that. I've done clips in previous vlogs, but I'm not gonna film it for TikTok today because I thought I'm like, you know what, for YouTube, I need to dedicate a video to that of just showing you guys how I just, yeah, start my week off fresh. So, yeah, anyways, we're gonna get changed because my single class is not for another hour, but I like to get ready far in advance. That way I don't feel rushed. Um, so we're gonna go pick an outfit right now and maybe we'll actually wear that new aloe bra that I got. I'll show you guys the aloe stuff that I got. I didn't get anything too crazy, but I'll just give you guys some sneak peeks of what I got at aloe. Okay, I just put my workout set on for Spinco. I wanted to show you guys the new aloe bra that I got. I'm literally obsessed with it. I think this is my new favorite sports bra from aloe specifically. The material is so good, guys. Like, I know the price points are a little bit higher than, I think they're a bit higher than Lulu. Like, it's pretty comparable, but it is a bit of a higher price point. But I love this bra so much. What I love about it is that it's actually a clasp back. So, for people who do have a bigger chest, I don't, but if you like something with a lot of support, I feel like this sports bra specifically would be a good enough support for um, someone who's bigger chested. So I'll link this one down below. It's got like a suede band here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. My lighting is acting really weird, but like the detail in this bra is insane. Like if this actually might be my favorite sports bra ever, not even over exaggerating. I just had to pick it up because I was really obsessed with it. They have a few different colors too. I think they have white and this like fuchsia pink. But as I said, I will link it. It's really, really good find. And then I'm just wearing my CSB leggings. I didn't get the matching leggings because I felt like they were not flattering on my body type. I have a very short torso. So I felt like they were high-waisted and I felt like this much skin. <laughs> And I also got this from Aloe. I got a cute little PJ set. At least this is what I wear it for. It's just a comfortable sports bra and like boxer shorts, but I wear them to bed. I have this set in white as well and I wear it all the time. So I decided to get the gray. And yeah, I just like to wear it to go to sleep because I am not, like I don't love to wear my uh, pajama set with pants. Like I do wear it sometimes, but usually I wear it in the winter. But now that it's starting to get a w bit warmer outside, I usually resort to shorts just because our house gets super hot like we need a fan in our bedroom so hopefully we'll get that this summer but in the winter i can do my pajama sets but in the summer i need shorts so this is what i usually wear to bed hey guys i just got home about an hour ago i ended up coming home literally making lunch asap because it was two o'clock by the time i had spinco went to the grocery store came home I just had to eat something ASAP. So I just made um, scrambled eggs with like feta cheese, spinach, cherry tomatoes. And then I had a side salad. I've been obsessed with this salad. It's like a dill pickle salad dressing. I have an obsession with dill pickle. But anyways, I don't know how I came across this salad mix. I love it and it's just been something I like to have sometimes for lunch. But I thought we could do a grocery haul because I just laid all my groceries out. And I know sometimes people are always curious as to what people buy at the grocery store. So some are staples that I get every single week. There's also some things here that I don't get every single time. Um, so yeah, sometimes I just like to change it up. 
but a lot of these things are my staples. A lot of them are things that I just always buy um, on a weekly basis. Okay, starting off with the yogurt. This is the yogurt I've been having every single day. It's the Siggy vanilla cinnamon yogurt. I usually add blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, or mango. So sometimes it's just like, sometimes I'll just add mango and blueberries. Sometimes I'll add strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Just depends on the day. Avocados. Mm, these pretzels, I already showed you them previously. They're crack. Um, uh, Lactose-free cheese. I like to have milk chocolate for dessert. And then these graham crackers that this combination is just my go-to for dessert. Blueberry waffles. This is usually on the weekend. If we don't want to make pancakes, we'll just have these. So it's just like a lazy girl breakfast if we're well lazy girl lazy girl and boy because zach likes them too um we'll just have this if we're wanting something quick and easy for breakfast feta cheese i only got a few poppies just because i still have a lot in the fridge but every time i see them at my grocery store i just pick them up because they sell out so fast now that they're in canada if you want to get them in canada you can get them at the superstore or loblaws i know that's where they sell them right now Oat milks. This is the oat milk that Zach and I drink. You guys know that I was on my dairy journey. I went back because my stomach could not handle it. So yeah, so this is the milk that I can't have with my coffee. This is more so for Zach. So it's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. We do not have another brand at the grocery store we go to for lactose-free milk for my coffee. So I just switched back to oat and it is what it is. This is the best oat milk you can get on the market. It is quite expensive, but there's no added oils. It's very clean ingredients, and it's just the best I find for my everyday coffee. Broccoli, eggs, uh, just like sauce for like a pizza, because we like to have pita pizza, peppers, onions, potatoes, chicken wings. This is not something we typically get, but I was like, you know what? I've been having a lot of chicken breast lately, and I want to switch it up, so we're doing chicken wings for dinner tonight. This is actually for Zach for meal prep. He likes to put some chicken in the oven just so he has some chicken for the week. And then we also usually cook two for the dogs, three for Zach. This is the extra lean ground beef, or sorry, lean ground beef we get when we make burgers, tacos, pasta sauce with beef in it, anything like that. This is for Zach for the week, just Uncle Ben's rice. We want something quick and easy, throw it in the microwave for two minutes. It's a good easy thing to have this is zach's blueberry everything bagels cherry tomatoes we like to make tomato soup or i like to add this in my eggs it's so good cherry tomatoes and spinach and feta cheese this combo is so good sorry guys my camera storage was full so i had to uh, delete some footage to continue filming this got this for Alyssa and i because i'm going over to her house tomorrow night for a nacho night just to start planning my bachelorette, which is so exciting. Sourdough bread. This is the bread that I literally have almost every single day, whether it's for lunch, for sandwiches, or anything like that. Sourdough is so good. And this is the brand. If you're curious, the ingredients are nice and clean. And then pita bread, so we can make pita pizza. So that is everything I got at the grocery store. Usually there's less, there's more. It just really depends on the week, but we were in need of getting a few things and just restocking. So this is kind of like my weekly grocery run. I'm now gonna take my vest off because I don't know why I've had my vest on for the past hour. I clearly am just very comfortable in it, but we're gonna start cleaning all of our fruits and vegetables. I like to do this every week. If you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you guys know that I usually film a little fridge organization reset vlog. And yeah, I'll link all the containers that I use for my fruit in the fridge. I do find it does help the fruit stay fresh a bit longer as well as the vegetables. Um, and I just like to have everything clean and prepped for the week. It just makes everything so much easier when I'm, you know, having breakfast in the morning. I just like to have everything clean, prepped, everything in the fridge, all organized, all that. It's just a nice way to start the week off when everything's organized. So let's do that. <laughs>
Okay guys, fridge is officially restocked and organized. This is so satisfying, I have to say. It's like my favorite part of the week. It's just looking at this view. It just makes me feel so good. It's now around 4.30. So I just finished taking Freddie for a walk. We went on like a 20 minute walk. And now we're back here. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog off just because I feel like there's definitely enough content from the other day and then from today. And I'm gonna start editing this one now and hopefully have it up like by Sunday is what I'm hoping. Like. It takes a while for me to edit YouTube just because my main priority is TikTok. Usually I like to have my TikTok videos up and edited, but I'm going to get a head start and try and edit as much as I can today and then as much as I can Friday and then hope to have the vlog up by Sunday. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching another video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next video.